What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making his debut on the channel too. Tonight! Tonight! We have Dimash. Yes, indeed, how about that? Dimash making his debut on the channel. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Uh, this comes as a request from Brett Parts. And this is actually Brett's prioritized request for the month of June for being a silver tier member on the Patreon page. So, here you go, Brett. I hope you enjoy the show, man. Uh, Brett wanted to see me react to this song. It is Dimash with a song called Sinful Passion. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, I recognize this. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Uh, I've heard of this guy. I, I, I know he makes the rounds uh, in the reaction scene. I know, I know a lot of reactors have done reactions to this guy. Um, I haven't yet. And I haven't seen anything of the reaction channels that have done it. I have intentionally stayed away because I don't want to ruin any potential reactions. I've heard through the grapevine that he is an amazing vocalist. So I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking to see, you know, looking forward to seeing just what kind of a vocalist he is. Uh, this was posted by Dimash... What? <laughs> uh, could I burn again? I hope... Uh, 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 could I... Yeah. Yeah, Q-U-D-A-I. So, Kudai, I guess. Kudai Bergen? Sure, why not? And the video has 18.3 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Dimash. No idea. I'm assuming that means sinful passion. Uh, I'm not even sure what language it is. Is, it, is that Russian? Might be. I don't know if it's Russian or not. It, it looks like it. Um, sinful passion, a studio. So studio A, I don't know. Um, not sure. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Казахстан всегда гордился и гордится своими талантами. Сейчас на сцену выйдет представитель уже нового поколения казахстанских звезд. Парень, раньше нас, друзья, с вами понял, где больше зрителей поехал в Китай. И, между прочим, там, внимание, победил в проекте «Голос». В Китае человек из Казахстана победил с хитом а студио «Грешная любовь». Впервые на новой волне. Прорыв года. Димаш Кудайбергенов. С песней «Грешная страсть». Ты явилась нежданно, Как из луна во сна. Если б знала ты, что мне нужна только ты одна. Сердце озарило, как весна, только ты одна. Дай мне, дай мне Долгим огнем пылать в ангре и мне на земле. Чуй, 
I think he's holding out on us. I think he's holding out on us. I'm, I'm hearing this. I'm hearing this wispy, airy, breathy uh, vocalization style. If it was up in the upper register, like if he was doing like a falsetto and doing that, man, I'd be upset. I would be so upset. I, I hate it when vocalists do that. Luckily, he's out in a lower register, so it makes sense. Um, what's impressing me about that, though, is he's delivering it with the airiness and the breathiness and the wispiness. And But here's the thing. It doesn't sound thin. It, it sounds supported. It sounds projected, and it sounds, I don't know how he's pulling this off, but it sounds strong. So, it sounds good. It, it sounds really good. I think part of that is because he's on the little register. The other thing that's really shocking me is the amount of vibrato he's getting while being breathy. That is not easy to do. It is not easy to... Get vibrato from the proper, and he's doing it properly. I've been watching his throat. I've been watching his neck. He's not using his throat to get the vibrato. He's doing it right. He's getting it from the diaphragm. He's getting that supported vibrato while maintaining the breathiness. It's not, try it. Try it. See how easy that is. It is not easy to do. That is freaking hard. So that's impressive. On top of that, he had that one line where he went up and all of a sudden his jaw dropped and he opened and it got strong. I think he's holding out on us. I'm looking forward to see what this guy can really do. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm curious. Because he kind of let the cat out of the bag there and it was like, wait a minute. Hold on. You know? Let's see where he goes. Let, let's see. Let's see what happens here. Back up a little bit. No 
Okay. When I said I suspected he was holding out on us, I didn't mean that. I meant supported, projected, powerful, drop jaw, open throat, you know, baritone slash tenor voicing. I was, I was talking about that, and I got that. I was like, I knew it. I knew it. And I was about to pause and say, I knew it. And then he went up. And I was like, wait, what just happened here? And he kept going up. And I kept wanting to pause. And I, I was like, I, I can't. I can't pause. Where is this going to go? Where is he going to top out? And he tops out at a triple high E. That is soprano range. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. What? This does not compute. This does not compute. How can he go from a baritone range slash tenor range all the way up to freaking soprano triple high E? How? How? God! I... We're going back. I'm sorry. I don't. No. No. I don't care. Hey, it's my show. I want to go back. We're gonna go back. I. I need to experience that again. I, I don't. I don't mean hear it. I need to experience that again because I don't believe it. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. I. There's got to be some black magic trickery going on here. There's got to be. No, nope, back, more. See, that's what I was expecting. So this is what I was talking about. Right here, this section. Okay. Is what I meant by he's holding out on us. I was when I said it was he was holding out on us. I was waiting for this, and I we and we're getting this, and I knew it. I was like I knew he was holding out on us. Okay, now we're hearing that full projected voice, that powerful voice that I had a feeling he had. Now we're hearing it. I was happy here, and then later. <laughs> Stop zooming out. Oh, he's singing all right. What the hell? Seriously, what the hell? Dirty word, he said the dirty word. I <laughs> I have zero explanation for that. None. That should not <laughs> That should not be possible. <laughs> Dear Lord. And here's the thing, he's getting up there, I mean, it, okay, the fact that he's getting up to a triple high E, that alone is mind-blowing. On top of that, the quality of tone that he's getting, it's not pinched, it's not forced, it's not cracking, it is pure and clean. I I just don't get it. How? Good Lord.
Let's keep going. Ah, uh, my goodness. And it comes right back down again. Knew it! Wait. Okay, there's an echo. Okay. Видел бы эту картину Басков сейчас. Боюсь, у Коли был бы сердечный приступ. Димаш Кудайбергенов, аплодисменты! Спасибо большое. С вашего позволения я бы хотел бы сказать пару слов и выразить огромную благодарность группе Ассуди и Пайгалиага Сигелькен Дрюкен Рахмед за то, что вдохновляете нашу молодежь и за то, что воспитываете правильное музыкальное направление. Счастье вам! Приезжайте в Казахстан! Мы вас любим очень! Димаш Спасибо. Кудайбергенов! Аплодисменты! Я сейчас не могу с тобой унести. Спасибо! На сцену приглашаются профессиональные сочинские носильщики, чтобы унести цветы Димаша Кудайбергенова. А. Я не знаю, что было сказано в конце. Я не знаю, что было сказано. There's a lot I got to take in. There's a lot I got to think about. Um, man, I'll see you in the review. I Give me some time, but I, I'll see you in the review and we'll, we'll talk about this. Well, there you go, folks. That was Dimash with Sinful Passion. This was a request from Brett Parks. And this was actually Brett Park's prioritized request for the month of June for being a Silver Tier member on the Patreon page. So, there you go, Brett. Hope you enjoyed the show. Um, I thought about it. I, I, I thought about everything I heard, everything I saw. And I, I really had to spend time on it because I have a score here. But before I gave this score, I had to be... 100% positive that I was going to be able to support my argument for giving this score because there are not too many artists or too many bands who make their debut on the channel and get a score like this. There, there just there aren't many. The list is short, uh, but distinguished. <laughs> um. On a scale of 1 to 10, I, I don't have a choice. I, I have to give it the score. I'm giving that a 9.4. Yep, 9.4. You heard me. I didn't stutter. That is the score 
I feel this video deserves. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay. I'm going to take care of all the nitpicky little stuff first. Okay. All the little things. Okay. Good and bad. Good and bad. Um, I have never seen a more complacent and bored backing band in my entire life. They were all just stone-faced. Just this absolute look of indifference on every single one of their faces. It makes me wonder, are they happy to be there? Are they happy to be working? Do they want that job? Because if they don't, I know a bunch of musicians who would gladly take your places and they'll do it with a smile on their faces, myself included. I don't know the context of which this performance was done. It, it looked, at first, I thought it was one of those talent shows like X Factor or Got Talent or, you know, one of those shows. I, I, at first, I thought that's what it was because he had this MC coming out. Now, I don't understand what he's saying. I have no clue what he's saying, but I heard a crowd and I saw an MC and I saw a stage and then here comes the vocalist and, you know, the, the production begins and everything. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's one of those. But then I actually saw the audience it looked like some sort of a gala event, like like some sort of a award show or something like that. I, I don't know. I mean, maybe someone could tell me what the context was for this show. I, I have no idea what it was. I have no clue. Um, a little confused on that part. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, God, what was it? Oh, the flowers. Yeah, okay, that. The, the, the whole ending thing with all the flowers and stuff. Um, I'm not comfortable with flowers. I'm not. I I have been handed flowers after performances. I, I have. Uh, it's happened twice, actually. I was never comfortable with it. I, I, remember, I remember the first time I did it, uh, the girl came running up to me with, with flowers, and I was like, oh, that's for the lead vocalist or something, and she handed it to me, and I'm like, what do I do with these? <laughs> What is this? <laughs> is this a joke? <laughs> I, I I didn't mean, I didn't, I, I hope, uh, if, if that girl is watching, I didn't mean to be rude. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. I swear to you. I just, I didn't know how to take it. I didn't know what it was all about. I wasn't expecting it. Uh, that looked, I hate to say it, that looked planned. That looked staged. Because before the flowers even got there, like you, you saw you, you saw the people with the flowers starting to move toward the stage and this look on his face it it, it never changed like it, it it looked expected like it was planned now was it planned or is that just what normally happens every single time this guy performs that happens i'm not sure but there was this look of absolute indifference on his face like okay Bring him on. Here we go again. And I'm just like, okay, either you knew that was going to happen because it was planned, or you knew that was going to happen because it happens at every single show for you. I don't know which one it is. Uh, and I'm not going to venture a guess because I'm not 100% sure. I just, I saw that look on his face when it happened. Not a smile. And I was just like, oh, okay. That's weird. Um, Now, let's talk about the main event, shall we? Okay, when he started out, he had that breathiness going, and like I said at the beginning, I'm glad he was down that lower register, because if he had been up in like a falsetto or something like that with that breathiness, I would not have been happy about it. But he was doing the breathiness in that lower register, and it worked. He was somehow getting the breathiness and the airiness while being supported and being strong. It didn't sound weak. It didn't sound thin. It sounded breathy, but it didn't sound thin, and it didn't sound weak, so that alone was impressive. Uh, then I heard him adding a vibrato to it. That's even harder. If you don't think that's difficult, try it sometime. Try to sing with that breathiness while doing proper vibrato. Not from here, from down here in your diaphragm. That's where you need to be doing vibrato from. If you're doing it from here, you're doing it wrong. Speak to any vocal coach out there worth a damn and they will tell you if you're doing vibrato from here you are doing it absolutely 100 percent incorrect and i know there's a lot of vocal coaches who will back me on that and they get upset like that's one of the biggest 
pet peeves of vocal coaches is when you try to do vibrato from here and they say, where are you doing your vibrato from? And they're like, you're like, from down here. And they're like, no, you weren't. <laughs> there is a difference. There is a big difference in sound. Trust me. Um, but you hear him doing that supported vibrato from down in his diaphragm while being airy and breathy. That's impressive. I, I was impressed. He let the cat out of the bag a little bit when he went up that one time and he, he opened his jaw a bit and he got loud. I was like, wait a minute. Hold on a second. He's holding out on us. I know he's holding on us now. I can't wait to see when he actually belts it. And then he did. And the payoff was great. I was like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew he was holding out and it sounded magnificent. It sounded wonderful, strong, supported, right on pitch, right on key. Uh, great diction, vowel formation, projection, the whole bit. He was doing everything amazing. I was already sold when he did that. Then he went up. And I remember thinking to myself, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? And then he went up some more. <laughs> and I was like, what's going on? What the hell's happening here? And then, <laughs> I kid you not, triple high E. You kidding me? Ah, <laughs> uh, the, I'm still wrapping my head around that. To go from high baritone, low tenor range, all the way up to triple high E. The kid's got what? A six octave range? Seven, maybe? Pop Look, I, I don't even think that he topped out. I think he could go even higher. A seven octave range. He could have it. I, I, don't, I don't know if he does or not, but he could very well have a seven octave range. <sighs> Dear Lord, are you kidding me? And the thing is, when he did go up high to that triple high E, I heard no strain. I heard no pinch. I heard no forcing. It sounded smooth. It sounded natural. Very, very impressive. And then the way he finished out, also up in that range, not quite that high, obviously. He came down a bit, but still in an upper register, finishing out strong. It was very well done. Now, is this my cup of tea? No. Will I ever want to listen to this again? I will want to listen to this again strictly for hearing his range. The song, not a fan. If I'm being honest here, this is not my cup of tea. This is not something I would normally listen to. This is not something that I will ever put on a playlist. Uh, I just, I don't see that happening. But for the pure shock value and entertainment value, of hearing him going up into those upper registers again as cleanly and smoothly as well as he did. Yeah, I will listen to this again, strictly for that reason. Um, but like I've always said on the channel, I don't have to love a song to give it a great score. I don't have to love a song to give it an eight. I've, I've given several eights to songs that I wasn't necessarily a fan of. But it deserved it because the production was so well done. The, the song was so well done. The execution, the everything was done so well. I had to give it the eight. This, I think, is the first time I've ever heard a song on this channel that I've ever heard a song that I was not necessarily a fan of. But there is no denying that this performance deserves the 9.4. 
I think this is the first time I've ever given a nine to a song that I didn't necessarily like. So yeah, there is no denying the talent. There's no denying the ability. There's no denying the execution. There is no denying the performance. Absolutely deserved that score. I just personally, not a fan of the song, but that, like I said, I don't have to like the song to give it a great score, or in this case, an amazing score. 9.4 is where we're at. 9.4 is where we're gonna stay. So, 9.4, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's good enough for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.